back, everybody. Well, Denise Wild is here, and she's going to show us how to sew up some wardrobe malfunctions. Everyone, please say hello to Denise. Hi, Denise. Hey, Denise. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> sweetheart. How are you, sweetheart? Very well, thank good, you. Good, good, good. Um, so we've got a couple of issues that have happened, and it's time to sew them up. First thing, you go to put on your coat to leave, and the button pops off. Happens all the time. All the time. And yeah. I usually just leave it there. I <laughs> go out without a button. That's exactly what I'm I do. I'm going to show you how to sew a button that doesn't budge. Okay. And what we've done first is double knotted our thread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's knotted at the bottom, and it's double threaded. Yeah. The first secret to a button that doesn't budge is to coat the thread in beeswax. See, this so is something that I would never. This little I nifty gadget. Yeah. You're going to pull your thread across. Okay. So that it coats in beeswax. So what, and what does this do? What, what, the beeswax is what? Just giving it extra strength? Exactly. It gives it extra strength, extra durability to ensure that the threads don't snap. And if okay. you don't have one of these at home, you yeah. can just use a taper candle. I Wrap your thread around and pull it through. I just pull it through the candle. Yeah. What that. we're going to start is uh, we're going to put our needle through the top layer of fabric. Okay. You don't want to go all the way down to the bottom because what we're going to do is hide our our knot right okay. up at the top. I see, okay. okay. So our knot stays here. Yeah. Um, the oh, second good. trick to a button that doesn't budge is to use a spacer. You actually want to have a little gap between your um, button and between the fabric. Okay. So we're going to slide this along here. On the side one? Yeah, okay. Exactly. All right. On then, that little hole. Yeah. And then your button will sit right on top of there. So we're actually going to sew through the button. You know oh. what? Because a lot of yeah. times I've sewn on a button, you sew it good and tight and you crank it down and then it, you, it's a wool coat and it can't fit around the button. Exactly. You don't want to sew it yeah, right yeah. against the fabric. That means that it's not going to have wear and tear. The wear exactly. and tear. I see. Exactly. Okay. So it's not going to be pulling so, so much. Okay. What do we have, do from here? Because I feel um, stranded. Okay. okay. <laughs> Now, yeah. you're going to go back down into the button. You can yeah. lift it up. It'll okay. probably be easier. Okay. And we're just going to oh, sew yeah. okay. up and down. Okay, wait, wait, Once wait, you've wait, gone um, all the way to wait. the bottom, you're so going to come all the okay, way back Okay, so up. you need to hold all the things. You want to hold your button, yeah. hold the little spacer, and yeah. hold... Oh, my. Wow. Okay, so um, I'll watch you. <laughs> so okay. after you've gone around a few times, I've used extra strength uh, threads so yeah. that we don't have to go an, uh, too many times to just yeah, yeah, go yeah. around three or four. Yeah. Um, what we're going to do is from the bottom of the fabric, mm -hmm. you're going to come back up, but this time without going through the hole of the button. Oh, so you didn't do very many right. loopy doos. You right. Only did I just like, did three or four. Because whenever I, yeah, I always expect yeah. that someone's going to sew like a hundred of them and then right. it's going to be nice and, you but know, strength. But you strengthen the thread so we don't need to do so that. So you don't need to do that. So we're coming up to the top, pull out your thread, and then we're yeah. going to do what's called a shank. So you're wrapping a thread yeah. around mm -hmm. the top. Yep. Uh, around that. How do you? How is it working out for you? Because you know what? I'm, I'm impressed with you guys because I didn't do well in school because I didn't listen very well. So I'm, <laughs> like, as you can see, I'm not. Yeah. Just to I'm still on the first right? one yeah. where the button went so on. Now. Like I'm like. <laughs> As far as I've gotten so far, <laughs> this, this exam shank, has failed. I'm going to show you the, another great trick for a button. It's hiding our thread end. So we've got our little knot in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we enter the thread into the fabric. But instead of going back all the way to the back, okay. you stay between the two pieces of fabric. Oh, why are you doing You that? bring your thread out this way, pull it nice and tight to secure that knot. Why are you doing that, though? And then when I cut this... Yeah. The thread will disappear into the fabric, <gasps> and you won't have a loose thread. Because when end. you started to do it, it looked like you had too many cocktails uh, and went yeah. way <laughs> off Love the that. edge. But yeah, no, exactly. that's brilliant. But so it hides the thread, and it exactly. won't be showing on the edge of the button. Right. You're a genius. <laughs> and that's never going to budge.